Hey there, do you know that Facebook would start creating NFTs using the Ethereum and Polygon network? According to a piece of information from a Meta spokesperson, the business is beginning off with NFTs on Ethereum and Polygon NFTs, but will soon add support for NFTs on Solana and Flow. Users will be able to link their Facebook profiles to their Bitcoin wallets thanks to this experiment. In this video, we will be explaining all about the Facebook NFT creation and how to position ourselves to benefit from them. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing videos like this, and be sure to watch this video to the end. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Non-fungible tokens or NFTs are typically produced using the same kind of coding as cryptocurrencies. These cryptographic assets are built on blockchain technology to put it simply. They cannot be traded or exchanged in the same manner as other cryptographic assets. Identical to Ethereum or Bitcoin, the word non-transferable or NFT denotes that due to its distinctive qualities, it cannot be altered or substituted. Both fiat money and cryptocurrencies can be traded or exchanged for one another because they are both fungibles. The blockchain, a distributed public ledger used to record transactions, is where the majority of NFTs are found. NFTs are discrete tokens that contain priceless information. They can be purchased and sold similarly to other physical forms of art because their worth is mostly determined by the market and demand. It is simple to confirm and validate the ownership of NFTs as well as the transfer of tokens between owners thanks to their distinctive data. Why are NFTs becoming popular? NFTs have been present since 2015 but their popularity has recently increased for several reasons. The enthusiasm and normalcy of cryptocurrencies and the underlying blockchain frameworks come first and are likely the most evident development. The intersection of fandom, royalty economics, and the rules of scarcity goes beyond the technology itself. Every consumer wants to take advantage of the chance to own distinctive digital content and even hold it as a form of investment. The material is transferred to the purchaser of a non-fungible token, yet it continues to circulate online. An NFT can become more well-known in this way since its value increases with increased web visibility. When the item is sold, the platform keeps a tiny portion of the proceeds, the current owner receives the remainder, and the original inventor receives a 10% piece. As a result, popular digital assets have the potential to provide recurring income as they are bought and sold over time. When it comes to NFTs, authenticity is key. Thanks to the blockchain, digital collectibles have unique characteristics that set them apart from other NFTs and make it easy verification possible. The trend began with CryptoPunks and extended fast to other NFT avatar projects. How these NFT avatars can be utilized to promote NFTs on other social media platforms is the main point of discussion. Due to the commercialization of social media sites like Facebook and Instagram, how can users use NFT avatars to advertise their NFTs on these platforms? What is your NFT avatar? Eventually, you might be able to proudly use it as your Instagram and Facebook profile picture. What is the Facebook NFT plugin? According to reports, Facebook and Instagram are developing means for users to display non-fungible tokens or NFTs on their profiles as well as a marketplace where users can purchase and trade these digital treasures and works of art. In a tweet, Meta product manager Navdeep Singh provided a preview of how NFTs will appear on Facebook. The post states that users' Facebook profiles would feature a digital collectibles area where they may display their NFTs, which are special blockchain tokens that denote ownership. Users will be able to link their Facebook profiles to their Bitcoin wallets. Additionally, they will have the option to convert their NFTs into Facebook posts which may then be shared, liked, commented on, and responded to just like any other post. Martin Bryant, a tech and media consultant, asserted that Meta's statement obviously intends to offer a home to Web3 folks. Given that the business has recently started testing modifications to Facebook groups that will make them more like Discord. In May, Meta introduced NFT support on Instagram. With a small group of creators, Meta has now done the same on Facebook. According to a Meta spokeswoman, the business has begun a modest rollout that enables a restricted number of American producers to post digital artifacts on Facebook. These artists will be able to display NFTs on their profiles via a new tab thanks to this functionality, and the artwork will have a digital collectibles designation just like Instagram. A week after Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta, said that the firm would shortly test NFT support on Facebook. 
the startup officially launched. At the time, Zuckerberg stated that the trial would enable authors to cross-post on both Facebook and Instagram. This is a significant shift for the social media juggernauts, who typically make money by seizing complete control of the data users publish on their platforms and harvesting it to increase engagement and tailor advertising. Unlike the images, videos, and texts that dominate most social media platforms, NFTs are digital assets that exist in off-platform blockchain databases that are not under the jurisdiction of any one person or entity. Owners of NFT now have the chance to increase the value of their investments by expanding their reach outside the community of established cryptocurrency users and by finding new ways to flaunt their possessions. The cost-benefit ratio for social media businesses is tricky. They have the chance to keep and acquire NFT-obsessed clients who might otherwise go to newer platforms that might be more crypto-native in exchange for ceding some control of users' digital assets. Meta Platforms Incorporated, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, is creating an NFT marketplace likely to profit from the expanding market for NFTs, which is estimated to be worth more than $40 billion. Currently, buying and selling digital assets is difficult, forcing potential participants to go via several channels and exposing them to fraud and transaction failure risks. For its billions of users, Meta could theoretically offer a simple, user-friendly digital asset marketplace. This could be highly profitable, especially if it can handle everything through its infrastructure for processing payments and transactions. By anticipating this change now, Meta can work to sway technology advancement in ways that support user engagement. For instance, if Meta creates the most approachable and user-friendly NFT buying interface, many individuals will likely opt to utilize it rather than other marketplaces. Why Ethereum and Polygon? A Layer 2 or Sidechain or an Ethereum Layer 2 scalability solution is Polygon. It accompanies Ethereum and enables cheap costs and quick transactions. The network uses the native coin Matic for staking, payments, and other purposes. The Green Manifesto, a new goal by Polygon to transform their entire ecology, was unveiled in April. By the end of 2022, Polygon wants to transition to a more environmentally friendly age and become carbon negative overall. They are taking several steps, such as developing a vertical climate offset inside their ecosystem. They will pay special attention to neighborhood projects and support efforts that employ technology to tackle climate change. To make sure it works, they even established a $20 million fund. This is one important factor in why Meta has decided to use Polygon as its main blockchain going forward. Instagram stated in their announcement from yesterday that when their NFT integration launches, Polygon will be included along with Ethereum. Meta is aware that Polygon is advancing Web3 as well. The business is making investments in cutting-edge zero-knowledge or ZK technology. Many think ZK will be crucial in presenting Web3 to the world. This is significant because Meta's platforms see billions of daily consumers. Finally, according to Meta, 2.87 billion individuals used Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, or Messenger every day in the second quarter of 2022. Meta will now start integrating Web3 into these sites via Polygon, starting with Instagram. I think this is a great innovation from the stable of the Metaverse. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. See you next time. Bye.